Hello, Fernando. For you, the number four uh, was the, the, the structure. For, uh, for we, for you tell me, has Lucy been? No. Uh, if, could you tell me if, you, if Lucy has been in Mexico? Very good. Yes. Happy yeah, yeah. How long does it take to no? What are you doing? Wilson? What are you doing? Yes. Do you know? Do you know what? What? Do you have any do idea you, no. to do that, for, for example? No, no. <laughs> I don't think. Do you have any idea to do that? Because uh, the, the question is, what are you doing? It is a direct question, but if you add, do you have any idea, it's like, it's very, it's more polite. Yes, but that is incorrect because it is what are you doing, right? Yes, yes. So, do you have any idea what you are doing? That's a doing. Thing. You what are, are you doing? doing. Yes, I do. You what are, are doing. you doing? No, 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 no. You, no That's you, a question. You, you are doing. Yes. Say it again, you Mr. Wilson. Doing. Do you know how any any idea you what you, what you you doing mm, again do you do you have any any idea what what you doing you, you are, are doing, doing. Are, do, you are doing but you right. are doing. okay very good continue okay the next Repeat question. Guys, are you practicing? Is he a lawyer? A lawyer. Uh huh. Okay. Could what you is the direct question? Could you tell me? Podría decirme. Uh, how he a lawyer is. No, that's a yes or no question. So use the other structure. Expression, if, and affirmative. So could you tell me? Could you tell me? Uh -huh. What are you going to use for yes, no questions? Could you tell me if he's a lawyer? Exactly, like that. Right, okay. you use WH or if, whether, okay? But this is a yes. first, yes, uh, Mr. Mauricio, first identify if it is a WH question or a yes or no question, and then follow the structure accordingly, all right? Okay. Yeah, Rina, that was great. Okay, continue, guys. What you doing are? Hello, teacher, I'm lost. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what you doing are? No. How would you say you... Uh, Try to make it the again. Number, the number six is more difficult and number seven too. Okay, read them to me, please. I'll help you. How long does it take to get there? Do you know? Okay, give me an answer, for example. Do you know? No, no, no. Tell me the answer. So, do you know how long it takes to get to Paris, for example? What would be a, an affirmative sentence, a statement? Mm, it takes about uh -huh. three hours. There you go. It takes, that's the affirmative part. Okay, so do you know, what's the WH question? Uh, how? How long? How Remember, long? WH questions are how long, how many, oh, what country, all of those, okay? <laughs> how long? <laughs> It takes. Uh, it takes to get there. Takes yes. to mm -hmm. get there. 
the uh, the auxiliary disappear and the verb change to a path to it's like affirmative that's why yeah, yeah. check the structure yeah. fernando i i created a structure but if it doesn't work for you take the one from the video okay because okay. it goes like this expression wh affirmative mm -hmm. so for example affirmative okay. is you're playing she will go it takes two hours i am here she is happy those are affirmative mm -hmm. right so okay. that's the expression you're going to use and if it is a yes no question instead of saying where you're going to say if so are you coming can you tell me if you are coming <laughs> did you come can you tell me if you came? You came. That's affirmative. Okay. Okay, try another one, but I think Selena. Number got seven. It, so yes. she can help you. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Do you teacher, have any idea? Teacher, uh, for me, do you have any idea? That will be the weather tomorrow no do you know okay. ah teacher <laughs> sorry uh -huh. tell me teacher uh, in the number seven mm -hmm. do you have any any idea what you doing are i have no. a mistake no how do you make um a present continuous sentence i am studying you uh, i'm working you do you have do you have any idea? I am working you what's the equivalent Fernando I am working you are working so you do are you working. have any idea I right? have what, what are you doing you are doing yes okay like that mm -hmm. don't change okay. the order do you have any idea how huh? you are doing when I am when I I, when you working no so when you are working or uh -huh. what you are doing mm -hmm. that depends on the question if it doesn't work for you use the structure of the video but that goes uh, expression wh subject oh that no the structure is too complicated like that very complicated but we'll continue to practice try it guys please try okay, okay. studying english how would you be english how would you be study i was wondering i was wondering is it wh or a uh, yes or no question, first of all. I was wondering what time. Yes, very good. Continue. What, what time? <laughs> what time free? No, mm. affirmative. How do you form an affirmative statement? Subject, right? You, you are going. You went. Uh, you, she has gone. So you need a subject first. But do do. You don't need the auxiliary if it is a yes no question. What's a question? I will help you. I was wondering what time free, what time free you do. I was wondering what you, what you do in your free time. Yes, that is right. What you do in your free time. What you do, what you do free your time. In your free time. That's free a compliment. Don't, don't pay that much attention to it. Telling me. Number one is, would you mind telling me? 
The mm -hmm. East Bank were nearest. 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 Uh, no. Mm, ese está como de ejemplo en el. Candy, mm -hmm. where will you mind telling me where is the bank nearest? Mm. Uh, the nearest bank. Uh huh. Can you tell me where the nearest bank? And the second is I. Wait, 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 wait. Can you tell me where the nearest bank? But I don't, I don't see the, the, the verb. Where is the verb? Can you tell me where, where the nearest bank is? Yes. Okay. Where is now it? it is complete. Would okay. you tell me uh, where, where the nearest bank is? Bank is. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. I like to know. Anna, question to indirect make how? Mm. How to make an ing indirect, indirect question? Indirect, I would like to know. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, that was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> How many correct answers did you get? You don't know? Everybody pay attention, please. Um, all right, look, tell me the answers. I want to evaluate in general and see how you have understood this. Teacher. So, yes, tell me. Send us, send us a, a tip for this topic. <laughs> yeah, I know I have to do something about it. <laughs> we have to do something. <laughs> I, will, I will do something, you know it. So give me some of the answers, okay? From there, I will evaluate how you're doing. Number one. Monica. <laughs> Perdón. Could you tell me? Could you tell me where the station is? Perfect. Carolina. Yes. Number number two. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me you coming to the party are? No. No. Sorry. Ana Hiron. Number two. Could you tell me uh, if you are going to the party? Perfect. Fernando. Hello. Number three. Mm, how does it work? Could you explain? Could you explain? Could you explain how it works? You almost, you almost got it. Uh, almost. One letter is missing. Look at this. Could you tell me how it worked? This is incorrect because if this is present simple and this works. is the subject, we need what, guys? Mm. Letter S. S. Uh, it works. works. Okay. Very good. You almost got it, right? Gabriela? S. How did it It's true. As no, it's not plural. Absolutely. It's third singular person. Look, guys. It's the third person. It works. Third person, third singular. It works. Third person. Go ahead. Sorry. Gabriela. Has Lucy been to Mexico? Mm -hmm. could, could you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Mexico. Perfect. <laughs> You did it. <laughs> All right, Juan Luis. Number five. Uh, number five. Um, I like to know where you where you from are. 
So is nope. it correct? Is this correct? Is this yes. a, an affirmative sentence, Mr. No. Luis, you from R? Or imagine that I say here, Mexico, is that correct? No. No, you would say you are from Mexico, right? So can you yes. tell me where you are from? So, so you are from verb. Mexico. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like affirmative. So can you tell me if okay. you're from Mexico or where you are from? Where you are from. Okay. Right. In that order. Okay. Yeah, we don't have much time. So we're going to do this. I'm going to make, you know, I hate doing this. But I'm going to make a Spanish parenthesis right now, right? Because it's necessary. We don't have much time. So, um, teacher, 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 I have yeah, a question. Go ahead. Tell me. In the, in, in the formula, say the indirect question, all time at final verse. Uh huh. Where in the video? Yes. Thank you. Sorry, please. Yes. This is my problem. All time. The Could you the... tell me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's well. confusing. It's confused. For me, it's confused. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, no. I understand. Okay. That's why I'm saying I'm going to make a Spanish parenthesis right now and we're going to finish the class, okay? But um, I know, I understand, I understand, okay. This is a chaos, guys. <laughs> Look at this. I, I want to show you something, okay? okay? Look at this. Después de esa clase, ya está la sección 3. Y si se fijan, es un tema totalmente diferente y el tema se acabó. Eso a mí me preocupa un poco. Y no es tan ni mal ni está bien. Así es el ritmo. Entonces, lo que tenemos que hacer es reforzarlo en tiempo aparte. Pero yo, de okay. todos modos, voy a intentar profundizar más en este tema y en el anterior. Y en los que no necesitan tanto o no... no no representan una dificultad tan grande, ¿ok? Porque yo sí necesito y quiero que aprendan. Lo saben e intento hacer las cosas fáciles si puedo. A veces quizá eh, es contraproducente, no sé. <risa> Pero intento hacérselo fácil. Entonces, okay. el problema de esta fórmula, a pesar que está en el libro y que yo de hecho aprendí con ah. estos libros en inglés, el problema es que no siempre funciona, ¿ok? Por eso, porque ustedes me dicen, el libro dice que termina siempre en verbo. No siempre termina en verbo. Y no abarca todos los, los tiempos existentes en inglés. Pero si usted lo piensa como una oración afirmativa, abarca absolutamente todos los temas. O sea, presente, futuro, pasado, presente, perfecto, futuro, perfecto, todos los perfectos, ¿ok? Sucesivamente. Por eso es más fácil pensar, ok, es afirmativo. Bueno, lo que, vamos a hacer dos cosas. Voy a ir a pensar algo que les pueda dar adicional mañana. Encima de eso les voy a enviar otra vez el, el archivo. Okay. Memorícense esa estructura. Les voy a enviar el archivo. Hagan las oraciones. Les voy a enviar las respuestas para que las comparen. Por favor. Para ver si están bien. Okay. Dedíquenle una Excelente. media hora a eso si quieren. Pero okay. eh, les voy a dar algunos ejemplos. O sea, hagamos rápido una oración de cada tiempo para que vean. Ok. Eh, una en presente. Que llueve, ok. It rains. It rains. Solo vamos a hacer sujeto y verbo. It rains. Y ya. Ok. Pasado. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Vamos a hacer con el mismo sujeto, de hecho. Bueno. Vamos a hacer she comes. Ok. Afirmativo, sí o no. Yes. Ok. Yes. Pasado de she comes. She came. She came. She came. She came. Okay. Presente came. perfecto. She came. She will come. She will. She will. She will come. Futuro con going to. She going to come. She is going. She is going to come. She is going to come. Okay. She is going to come. Pasa, futuro perfecto, ¿eh? no lo han estudiado, no se preocupen. No, no, eso con no, el eso verbo, no. Con el verbo be, she is happy. Esto ya cambia porque es otro verbo. ¿okay? Bueno, esta es la estructura. ¿okay? Ahora, expresiones. Denme expresiones, por favor. Happy. No, expresiones. Do you know? Uh, 
¿Qué otra? Could you tell me? Okay, could you could tell, you tell me? me? Y bueno, y todas las que vieron ahí. Can como, you tell me? Do you, ajá, can you tell me? Todas las que vieron en el video y en la hoja, porque no se limitan a eso. Okay. Ya casi tenemos la estructura. Okay. Y aquí vamos a decir una WH question. ¿Cuál sería WH? What? When, que where, hay where, que where, hay where. Vacío. Esperen, hay un vacío acá. En esta parte. La voy a hacer roja. Ok, acá o va a ser WH si es una pregunta de información, que eso ya lo tendríamos que saber. ¿Cuáles son las WH questions? Eh, when, where, why. What, where, what, so who, who, okay. y, si no es, y si no es una pregunta de WH, ¿qué les dije que iban a utilizar? Informativas. If. O if whether, que significan whether. lo mismo. Okay. If and whether son sinónimos. Aquí está ya. Okay. Fíjense. Do you know where she comes? No sé si tiene sentido, pero está bien gramaticalmente. Okay. Can you tell me if she came? Okay. Can you tell me uh, when why? she, why she came? Okay. Do you know why? She's going to come. Y todo está bien, si se fijan. Y es, ya utilicé todos los tiempos que casi existen. No le voy a dar más porque existen como 12. Okay. Sí. Ya se fijaron, es lo mismo. Solo, van a, solo tienen que identificar si es una pronunciación no, o una WH para escoger una de esas. Ahora bien, el vacío que existe, que no T, es que se confunden aquí. Porque cuando ustedes ven palabras como what time, lo separan. Y eso no lo tienen que hacer. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Digamos, hagamos una, una pregunta de WH en presente. La más común, where do you work? ¿Ok? Where do you work? ¿Ok? Está bien. ¿Cuál es la estructura de una pregunta de WH? Es WH, ¿qué más? Auxiliar. Auxiliar, ¿qué más? Sujeto y verbo. Y verbo. Ok. ¿Todos conocen esta estructura, sí o no? Sí. Yes. Yes. Ok. Pero a esta estructura de hoy en adelante, memorícense que aquí hay tres puntitos suspensivos. Ok. Tres puntos suspensivos. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces la WH question incluye información. Por ejemplo, what time? How many? Ok. How much? ¿Sí o no? Ok. Yes. Sí, eh, sí, sí. sí. Let me see which color. Y así. Y luego seguimos la estructura. What time do you study? How many brothers? Imagínense esta que larga es. How many brothers do you have? O sea, todo este WH y tres puntos suspensivos es esta parte. Sí. Ese es el sí. vacío que hay. Por eso es que ahí se confunden cuando ven... ¿Está mejor ahora, sí o no? Sí. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok, con la práctica, espero que mejore, hagan la tarea, mañana vamos a practicar un poco más, y bueno, ya después de eso, refuerzo, pero yo creo que sí, mañana es el último día que le dedicamos a esto. Ok, so, please do the homework. Any okay. questions right now? We have three minutes if you want to ask something. What is the homework? I will send the exercise again and the answers so that you can do it and then verify it. Okay. But don't look at the answers until the end. Okay. okay. Any other questions? No. No question, Tisha. No. Nobody? No. Don't get frustrated, okay? <laughs> it's okay. all right. We can do it. Can do it. Okay, it was a pleasure. Okay. Please be in class so that you don't have any doubts. All right, please attend class tomorrow. And I hope to see you. Okay, have a good night. Bye. Take care. Okay, good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.